Welcome back folks to my channel. I'm um, sorry I feel a little bad today. Perhaps I had catch the cold or maybe just the flu, I don't know. Anyway, I'm here to talk about the lanternfly. You see, spotted wings, beautiful wings, who stretching out from the body whatsoever, ready to take a fly, anything else. Yeah, actually I kind of like this kind of bug, who just flying around and do things whatsoever. But uh, I have recently followed some kind of viral video of uh, people from TikTok who literally squashing those poor fellows. Apparently they have actually been escorted to United States of America. I don't remember exactly then, but most of the people were actually talking about that. It came since 2020, people started to discover it is a lot of them. Apparently those guys actually love to live in a warmer environment. And they are actually very harmless. They don't eat. We are not a predator at all. We are actually more kind, if I may say it. But even if they actually feeding on uh, tree and all of it whatsoever in the nature, the biggest target it at least on. Uh, well, farmers in this case, but not exactly. We say a multi-millionaire apple farm could be something, a sweet taste for a poor fellow like the lanternfly. But the worst part is that every time we see a lantern, lantern fly, we squash a bit and even toast them whatsoever killing them whatsoever and I don't think it is really nice of the humanity to ever do that we talking about uh, hold on. haven't we forgot that we used to be that kind of type and we are still doing it when I say doing it I mean, we used to shut down all those trees for nothing, for example. Doing furniture of it, building house, any kind of shit. We even wrecked down the tree for nothing. We even making mark for ourselves and drain the nature, its self power from us. We are actually the true parasites. Yet, the lanternfly is the one who being treated like it is a huge threat. That's a little more, uh, how should I say, not nice. I mean, for, first of all, I understand the lanternfly, they are actually growing really fast. And apparently, as I can say, I may not challenge the science, of course. Let the science handle itself. But I feel it is unjust to kill land and fly, even if they come from another country, that they actually can grow really fast. But apparently, we don't care when it comes to ourselves for growing fast as well. When we actually make a population of ourselves and wipe out the rest of the population for what? Humans? <laughs> In my ass. We ain't better than any animal at all. 
we are the true parasite in this earth, yet Mother Gaia taking us as with her own heart as a part of her children. So we should actually treat her with that kind of kindness instead of all this bullshit as we're going to say a lot. Over the years, like 1984 or earlier, we have actually chopped away with a lot of trees for the rest of our lives everywhere in all those years. And what are we doing? We only keep ruin the nature without ever care about that and how it is actually if I may say it why do we tolerate when we self doing it but we can't uh, relay that any animals can ever do it even if we are not the problem except for ourselves we destroy, destroy the most of it for ourselves Yet, no one had any idea or ever care about a human doing a dumb thing. We instead blaming other animal population who actually just doing their thing a part of the nature without to destroy the nature. However, even if I understand the lantern fly actually sucking up energy from tree the liquid inside the tree as I understand but there were once a tree we could actually suck up and s in the same time without that tree dying I don't remember the name of it but I remember that I have read a, of a book it existed somewhere in Asia but for some reason there have been many companies who have bought the forest and cut down all those trees as the lanternfly needed to their own needs. It was because of whatever they could suck up to this tree and that tree were keeping producing whatsoever the lanternfly needed. But instead the company were ruining the nature. So the lanternfly needed other tree to suck on in order to survive. So yeah, sometimes I can question that, that none of us have ever cared about other thing and ourselves. So I'm a little more surprised over that some people can make it in uh, uh, TikTok by telling other things that we need to kill and squash those lantern fly. I mean, that's too much in my case. Why in the world would someone literally do that kind of thing? I may not blame someone who actually are young enough, no matter if that person is maybe a young toddler or maybe a younger teenager who had no understanding about the life at all. However, I can still grow my concern over uh, older teenager or youth as I may call it, or maybe adults but this is more than that as I said I may not say something whatsoever only the scientists can say but my wish is if any scientist could ever find another digest thing by changing their molecule I don't know I mean, we humans didn't only become predator at all. We have been eating a lot of species ourselves. What I mean is, isn't that possible to just change the... Uh, the diet for the lanternfly so it could suck on something without to maybe killing a tree if that's exactly what it is. But I'm so concerned over the idea of killing a tree. I'm not so sure if they're doing it except for sucking up from maybe when it comes to tree with apple whatsoever, fruit or whatsoever. At least they love sweet things. 
So I don't think there is no... I don't think we can possible kill any tree. And if that's so, at least we are not worse than ourselves. Normally I would say, perhaps the nature of other bugs can maybe handle it. But we as a human, I think we should actually stay away from it. We should never care about whatsoever. A lanternfly should actually be welcome even if it is maybe horrible to see something, a growing population of those lanternfly. But I still think it is really annoying to see people stepping on those poor fella for what? Just coming and overcross immigranting in the country? God damn it. A lanternfly should never be squished just because they came to just visit, just because they growing in the population whatsoever. Now I ain't going to giving any fact. No, this is just my reaction over what I see from the TikTok whatsoever. I'm not surprised, but I'm totally sad to see it. That we who just rip off the nature like it is our property kind of we just slamming anything and pointing at and it is directly ours I mean this is really freaking sad yeah who oh, no the businessman can do whatever he wants whatever he pointing at there's no problem at all. Whatever we do is the right thing. We do it for the stock market. We do it for the money. We do it for everything we actually establish on. And all those particle things we could use and do some kind of materials. Furnicus for everybody. Even hats. As we can take the bee and whatsoever and the best thing we could do is just building a lot of houses and so on even penthouses there will never be any problem I mean isn't that kind of excuse we always hear we don't ever have any concern about how the nature actually feels I mean that exactly what is the problem when it comes to ourselves we destroying the nature without the thinking over that we are the cause of whatsoever coming. No one ever care. I mean, that should be a growing concern instead for just slamming a little puny lanternfly. Sure, some of you may be saying, how dork you are defending those lantern, those small puny thing. Are you some kind of dork or something? Oh, that's exactly what I could hear sometimes. Oh, do he like a lanternfly? Are he some kind of lover or their god or whatsoever? No. I'm not a god. I just see them as a... How should I say? A life. A life who should be a let alone, not squish. For God's sake. They have not, not done nothing wrong. And how can they be a threat for the earth? If they have to be squished all the time. Even if I understand that their population really growing uh, fast faster than ourselves. I mean, I understand the concern, but squishing a land to fly for just being on our territory. I mean, I understand that by feeding on plants and whatsoever. But it's not like they are, they are the biggest threat. I say only my opinion. You can say yours. But I think it is unnecessary to squish them. 
I would rather change the digest in this case. And I wish there were a scientist who could do it. Or maybe we can relate to God to do it if God is willing. Which I don't know. And no, I'm not that super religious, I'm not. But I think it is wrong. It is. I don't feel great when it comes to it. I mean, I wish there was some other wise without to squish them for what? Existing? Or, as we're saying, let the nature do its part. But as I said, I wish there were other wise when squishing or killing them. Especially when they are harmless. And yeah, since we are killing a lot of bugs, why should we keep bothering by killing them? It should never be that. And they are not the biggest concern for the itself. The environment is in danger and we only care about the killing them. That's really ridiculous. However, the lanternfly should be treated just like ourselves, worthy and alive, a really life who should never be taken. That's what I would say. Anyway, that's all what I had. It was never a fact or whatsoever. This is for only my reaction. Perhaps I will do more research when it comes to lanternfly and give my opinion later and yeah as I said thank you for watching my channel or the clip you can subscribe to my channel if you want or give me a thumb up or them down with my goddamn clip and I'm very happy that you reached out anyway that's all I had have a nice day and take it easy bye everybody